Hello and welcome. This is Nadia Mudassir. Today we are discussing a very important topic of electric physics, which is electromotive force. What's the electromotive force? What's EMF? What are the equations for it? And what are the units for measuring electromotive force? Let's discuss this all things in this video by starting with a diagram. Here is a diagram. Take a look at this diagram. In this diagram, we are having three things. The first one is a voltage, a source, or a battery. We can have, we can say that it's a source of it's a source or we can say it is a seal or a battery. There is no difference and you can say voltage, no difference. And having a bulb, and I, as I told you in the previous videos that a bulb is also called a resistor, right? So in this circuit, we are having these three things by the source of, by the source or by the battery, the battery provides a potential difference and uh, as a, in the result of potential difference, the bulb lights. So here is a concept that now we are having two charges and both both two, two terminals of the battery and both are different charges. So as they are different, so they are having a force uh, between them and that's attraction force. The negative always have the tendency to attract the positive charges as the positive charges flow through the circuit. So then so the, 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 the current also flow in the circuit, right? As the positive charge starts circulating in the circuit or start its flow in the circuit, so the current also starts in the circuits and the bulbs and the, the, in, in the result, the bulb lights. All of the, neg the positive charges that the negative needed arrives here. So as a result, the negative terminal will be neutral. If the negative terminal become neutral, the positive will also become neutral, right? So there is something, but it never happens. It never happens till the battery have charge. It never happens. Why? Because there is something inside the battery. There is something inside the battery that never lets the positive charge to stick here. While the positive charge arrives here, while the positive charge arrives here, there is something that pushes the, this, these positive charges back to the positive terminal. And by this strategy, the circulation of the charges always they are, they are always fl flowing and uh, the bulb uh, always lights or any other resistors in the circuit are uh, working. Because of, because of what? Because of this flow of charges and the flow of charges uh, always uh, give us current, right? So we can say that, uh, look, take a look at this uh, picture uh, too. This is also an example of, this is just the same like this diagram. The picture is also the same like the diagram. We are having electromotive force or EMF. There is no difference. This is just the shortcut of this uh, this electromotive force. And here is the symbol. The symbol you can use as an E or something like this. So here is a circuit. In circuit, we are having a battery and a bulb, and there are the lines which carry the current. So there, uh, the uh, the positive charges, uh, the negative charges attract the negative charges. Always attract the positive charges here in the positive and back to the and there is something in the in the battery uh, and by the by the name of EMF, which push, pushes these charges back to the positive term, terminal and uh, keep the circulation, it keep the circulation in the circuit. And by keeping the circulation uh, of positive charges in the or not positive charges, we can say charges. Keep they keep the circulation of the charges and keep the potential difference. By keeping the potential difference, the uh, bulb also lights. So this is this is something which which is happening or which uh, uh, which is happening by a force which is called electromotive force. So take a look at these definitions. In order to maintain a constant current in a circuit, a source is required which can maintain potential difference. It's something very clear. To clarify, I told you that for potential difference we need a source. By the source, we can have potential difference in a circuit. So the, here is a source, or here is a battery. But this this battery require this battery uh, give us potential difference, which is required for the circuit to uh, flow the current and light the bulb. In inside the bulb or the inside the cell or battery, a work is done on a charge to move from one terminal to the other in order to maintain potential difference. As I told you that. So our work is done inside the battery but on the charges and they move the charges from this terminal to this terminal uh, for what? For to keep the potential difference constant. So the work which is done on a unit column of charge is called EMF. The work done in carrying a unit column charge through a source is called EMF. The work 
which is done on each of these charge. Each of these charge by carrying the, the work which is done in carrying, in carrying and moving these charges are called EMF. So there is something, there is a force inside the battery which is working on the charges, which is working on the movement of the charges. So that work is called EMF or electromotive force. If you look at this diagram, if you look at this uh, diagram or this picture, take a look at this. There, here is a question, uh, and, I, and I'm going to clarify that question by, uh, by this, uh, explaining this diagram to you. Look, it electrolyzes of water. Why the water is 2O, it's 2O electrolyze, so it gives us H plus ions and O negative ions, right? We're having O negative ions and H plus ions. So the positive ions always, the, uh, the positive ions always try to, uh, tr uh, they have tendency to go to the anode and the negative ions always have the tendency to go to cathode. Why? Because cathode is negative and it, uh, cathode is positive and it attracts negative charges and anode is negative and it attracts positive charges. But in this solution, we are having a solution too by which these the electrolysis of water happens. So while these charges are moving in the solution, while these charges are moving in the solution to uh, to their self, them, themselves to the anode and cathode, they face these atoms, atoms of the what? Atoms of the solution. They face what? Atom of the solutions, and by colliding with them, in uh, in the result of collisions of them with the uh, with the atoms they lose some of their energy and losing uh, energy uh, because of collision is called resistance so it means that while the charges are moving to the anode and cathode their faces they experience a resistance which is called internal resistance and the same thing is in the battery too take a look at this diagram here's the battery which i told which i mentioned in the uh, previous uh, diagram that's also the same I just I just uh, have a clear picture of the battery and instead of the bulb I just wrote a resistance there is uh, I told, as I told you there is no difference between a resistor and a bulb so the thing I'm trying to tell you is that while the positive charges are moving back from the negative terminal to the positive terminal they experience a resistance as in here in the solution, the positive and negative ions faces the atoms of the solution. And by colliding with them, they lose some of their energy, some of their charges. So the, in this lo uh, losing of charge is called, losing of energy is called resistance, facing with resistance. That thing happens, the same thing happens here in the battery. While the positive charges, while EMF tries to uh, to carry the positive charge to the uh, then the positive terminal back, so the positive charges um, faces a resistance, which is called internal resistance of the battery, and it is denoted by the um, it's denoted by R, by the letter R, right? So. And also, this is called R and it's called internal resistance. It's called what? Internal resistance. The resistance which is inside the battery. The resistance which is inside the battery, it's called what? It's called internal resistance and we are denoting it by R. And the resistance which is connected with the circuit and it's outside of the battery, it's called load. It's called what? It's called road load or we can say external resistance what external resistance the resistance and we are and we are denoting it by capital r right so in this circuit we are having two resistance if someone asks you that what is internal resistance so you can say that while emf tries to uh, move the or carry the positive charge to the positive terminal so the, the charges experiences uh, the, the, the charges experience a resistance and that resistance is called internal resistance. Why the charges experience uh, resistance? Because in, inside the battery there are other atoms of other, we, we are having other atoms, we are not just having the positive and negative charges, we are having uh, other atoms of the battery. 
So they collide with that, those atoms and uh, by collision with them, they by colliding with them, they lose some of their energy and which is called resistance. So as it is inside the battery, so we are calling it internal resistance, right? This is called what? Internal resistance and we are denoting it by, uh, by R and by the, the, the resistance which is in the circuit, it's out, outside of the battery, that's called load or external resistance, right? And one thing to tell you, which is very important, that EMF and potential difference both are measured by volts. EMF and potential difference both are measured by what? By volts. So as I told you, that the work done by carrying one unit, uh, one unit, uh, one column of one unit of column charge from one terminal to the other uh, is called EMF. So as it is work done per charge, work done per charge. So I can say that the formula or the equation of the uh, EMF is uh, equals to work done, work done per charge. This is the definition in the formula of EMF. If we write it in its symbolic form, so we can say that E equals to W per Q, W per Q, right? It is the equation of what EMF? It's the equation of EMF. And if we have the SI unit of EMF, so we can say that uh, we measure work by what? By joule, and we measure uh, charges by columns. So joule per column equals to volts. So therefore, I can say that we can, uh, therefore I can say that we can measure EMF and potential difference both by volts. Both of them are measured by volts. These are the main concept of what these are the main concept of potential difference so if you are trying to find if you are trying to find the um, uh, formula of emf according to ohm's law we can do that too but before that uh, something which is very important that, uh, that i am trying to tell you is that uh, the potential difference across the terminal of the batteries uh, well people sometimes ask that so in contrast, what is potential? What is EMF? What is EMF in contrast? As I as I told you that it is work done per charge uh, to it's work done in carrying one column of charge from one terminal to the other. But uh, beside that, some people ask that what is EMF? So for, the, for them, I can say that the potential difference across the terminals of the battery when no current is drawn, when no current is drawn is called EMF. Look. It's very important. One thing, one confusion that I made for you is that I told you that we can measure EMF and potential difference by volts. So here is a question. The question is that how can we know as there is internal resistance, there is internal resistance and there is external resistance. So how can we know that uh, that uh, what is the what is the the amount of EMF? What is the amount of EMF and what's the amount of uh, potential difference? So the thing I can tell you is that the potential difference across the two terminals of the battery, the potential difference across the two terminals of the battery, when no current is drawn, no load is connected. That's called EMF. When there is no resistance, no, no uh, load connected to the battery, but there is no resistance. There is no resistance. There is no, uh, the, the, the negative and positive charges are not connected to a circuit. But there is, there is a current. There is a potential difference. So the potential difference, the potential difference in the battery when there is no load connected to the battery. That potential difference, which is in the battery, but connected by, without any resistance, external resistance, that potential difference is called EMF. But while the two terminals of the battery are connected to a circuit, and the circuit is connected with a resistance, that potential difference is called voltage or potential difference. Right? So how can we find the formulas? According to Ohm's law, if we come to the Ohm's law, so according to the Ohm's law, we can find the formula of EMF. Ohm's law states that V is equals to I multiplied by R. 
Ohm's law states that V is equals to I multiplied by R. As I told you, V and E M F are the same. So I can so I can replace this V by E, right? So I can say E is equals to I multiplied by what? I multiplied by R, right? So and as I told you that EMF in EMF, we are the battery is facing two resistances. The first one is internal resistance and the second one is external resistance. So this R equals to R plus R, external and internal resistance. So instead of R, I can say that E is equals to I multiplied by R plus R. R plus what? R plus R. So if I multiply this I, to both R's, so I can say that E is equals to I multiplied by R plus I multiplied by R. As E is equals to I multiplied by R, so instead of this I multiplied by R, I can say that E is equals to V plus I multiplied by R. This is the general equation of EMF. We can find EMF by this equation. Uh, if, uh, if a, uh, a question or a problem is given to us, so we can solve that by this equation. This is the general equation of, uh, this is the general equation of uh, uh, EMF, and we can solve all, kind of, all of the problems by this equation. But there is something else. We are not using the battery, uh, we are not using the battery always in one situation or, in one, uh, or for one purpose. We are using the battery for different purposes. For example, uh, if it comes to the usage of the battery, or we can say that we are using battery in two uh, situations. The first one is uh, battery as a source. Sometimes we are using battery as a source of as a source of voltage or as a source of electricity or current, right? So in that case, the battery is connected to a resistor. There is a battery and we are having the resistance from the bed. The battery provides current to the resistance and the resistance or the bulb lights. This is this is battery as a source. So we can say when a battery is used as a source of current. So we can use this equation that E equals to V plus I multiplied by R. But sometimes while the battery, uh, while the char while uh, the battery uh, don't have the capability to um, to have potential difference or to make potential difference. So I mean, it's, uh, uh, it, it don't have charge. So we don't use battery as a source. We use battery as a load. We are charging the battery by something else. So at that case, while we are charging the battery by something else, at that case, the battery is used as battery as a load, right? So here is the battery. This is the battery and it doesn't have charge. So we are charging it. As we are charging it, so we are using the battery as a load. This is the, 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 the battery or the source that we are charging the, this battery from. So when we are using the battery and we are charging the battery, so that means that we are using the battery as a load. In that case, we do not use this equation. We do not use, we use this equation. When a battery is charged by an external voltage, so we don't use this equation. We use this equation, V is equal to EMF plus I multiplied by R. This is the whole concept of EMF and the whole concept of the things which are related to the EMF or electromotive force. Hope you understand this video. If you like the video, so thumbs up. Or uh, if you understand something in this, in this video, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.